on the show here today. All right, so we about to get in right now with these headlines. So, we, I, don't, I don't know why I did that. My computer is messing up on me. Time for the headlines. Brought to you by the ego of LeBron James. <laughs> <laughs> Our first headline, and actually, why am I reading the headlines? The headlines always on the show is read by T Bone! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, our first headline there will be no fight for Floyd Mayweather. I can't pronounce the other guy's name. Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao. Now, the reason for this Manny Pacquiao and his promoter, um, his promoter, uh, Bob Amor. You know, off the fight, big time fight. This is the last super fight between two in boxing. The last one left, Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather Jr. But the team of Floyd Mayweather, his camp, never responded, and now the credibility of Floyd Mayweather is being questioned. What is your thoughts on this one? I mean, uh, I mean, I don't get why the fight didn't happen. A while ago, right, right. You know when Pacquiao should have agreed to that little testing thing, and I mean, I mean, I I would love to see the fight. I mean, yeah. I think it would be a very good fight, and I don't know why it's not happening because it seems like this would be the best fight for boxing to save boxing mm -hmm. right now. Yeah, you know, with Eminem, MMA taking over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, it really is. Um, do you think? Do you think it's true? T-Bone, that Floyd Mayweather is a coward. No, I don't think Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather is a coward at all. I really think that, you know, um, some some issues may have came up, you know, why the fight would be canceled. I don't know why he would want to cancel a fight. He's like, you know, the best boxer right. in the world right. as of right mm -hmm. now. Um, you know, so I really I really don't think he would back out of a fight. Not the biggest fight. It's probably one of the biggest fights of his career. Why would he back out of it? It's That's the... More you know, that's more for listening. It's the biggest one left. Right. Yeah. And if he's about money. <laughs> yeah, right. It's really interesting <laughs> thing to turn down. Your thoughts, B Wood. Come on. Uh, All I got to say is if he wants to prove to be the best, you take on every single competitor. That's how you can tell if you're really the best. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. You know, so incredibility is right now, Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather is being questioned. All right. Let's get on the next headline, T-Ball. All right, next headline. This is from FanHouse.com. LeBron buys $49.5 million mansion in South Beach. Ah. Gee. LeBron, <laughs> we about to be up in there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Talk All about right. being comfortable in your new uh, surroundings. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. How, how be with moving to South Beach? You come... Think, th think about this. I know, you know, moving down to, you know, Miami from Cleveland, you know, is it, bad. But at the same time, you're going from January and having five inches of snow on the ground. Five feet of snow more. Like and it right. feet, you know, snow mm. and, and being cold to now you can jig the entire year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, you, what are your thoughts about South Beach? Well, one thing I know, learned to notice about Miami is that it also could have hurricanes. Okay, we might we might have snow in Cleveland, but it also could be a hurricane. It could be a volcano. Man, Miami might be too hot, but that doesn't mean that it's really safe. Okay, you, people, I can There was a lot of people out there that have heat, heat get heat stroke from Miami. In Miami. <laughs> Be well, you can get heat stroke anywhere. Right. <laughs> no, you can get heat stroke in Alaska, man. Come on, <laughs> no, you can get heat stroke. No, no, for real though. Mm. Like, you know how many degrees be out there in South Beach? 
be like in the hundreds. You over a hundred. The past couple of here days. in Cleveland, it's been ninety six degrees here in Cleveland. And <laughs> so y'all, we're Ohio weather is, but mm. I, is it really volcanoes in uh, Miami? <laughs> <laughs> there, there is something. It's possible. It could be hot spots. No. No. Maybe maybe hot spots, but not, not a volcano. A volcano. Oh, no. All right. All right. For right. those of you that's that has been to South Beach before, if there has ever been a volcano, let, let us, us know, know please. <laughs> please let us know. Okay, I've been, no volcanoes, but like I said, it could be hot spots down there. All right. And what he means by hot spots as well, the females. Everyone, <laughs> <laughs> your, your oh, thoughts that's... about this LeBron house here? That's a, I mean, that's a pretty big house for, like, I mean, he got a, two kids and a, and a mm -hmm. wife or something. Yeah. What you do with all that space? Yeah. Can I come live in there? <laughs> I know one guy who won't be making a visit there, and that's Delonte West. So on to the next headline. <laughs> on to the next headline. All right. Next headline. Center Brad Miller joins the Houston Rockets. He signed a three-year deal just recently. Um, really, I'm really, you know, really excited to see that Houston – is making moves to get some help because you see with the broken foot of uh, Yao Ming, yeah. he's still questionable. Maybe he's making a return this year, maybe not. You think of Chuck Hayes, the starting center this year. He's 6'6", 240 pounds. Really undersized for an NBA center, but he really did a good job. You know, five points, five rebounds. You know, he's shooting the ball, shooting the ball well. Um, really competitive guy, but really, I really think this move really helps the Houston Rockets. They got a big guy down there, you know, Brad Miller, seven feet. Of course, that is the average size for an NBA center in this right. league. He can shoot the jump shot. He's a good post player, good defender. Really an all-around guy, and I really, like, I really like this move. I think and, he can help him a lot. And, and Houston was very undersized last yeah. season. I mean, so any move in a Western Conference to get a bit closer to the Lakers, you know, will help. Really? <laughs> it, it, it would help. I mean, the other than the the Western Conference has been a very competitive conference. Oh when you go outside the Lakers, I mean, <laughs> right? Right now, the is there any team in the NBA right now? And I want you not to be biased. I, I won't be biased. You know, I, but I is there any team right now, seriously, who can has a real threat to take down the Lakers next season? The only season? team I really see, Oklahoma City. I, I, I see Oklahoma City. I mean, I see Very never, good team. I see Denver. I, say, I still say Denver Nuggets. Denver, yeah. Denver. You know what I'm saying? At times when they're playing when they're playing as well as they can, mm -hmm. they uh, they can beat the Lakers. Mm -hmm. You got Miami now. I, and this is the last year good. for Camelo Anthony before the free agency. Before so, he goes to New York. <laughs> you know, will right. he join Stoudemire in New York? <laughs> you know, interesting question. Or will he join... Join uh, Joe King Noah and Derrick Rose. And Derrick Rose in Chicago. Chicago. That's another. Derrick, no, no, and Carlos Boozer. Oh, yeah, and Carlos right. Boozer in Chicago. The, shift, the power shift in the NBA, bar none, has shifted to the Eastern Conference. Right. It, it, really it, has. it has. You have Boozer and Stoudemire who went from the West to the East. Mm -hmm. I mean, the shift of power has changed. Any thoughts from either one of you on any team that could. You said. Denver, Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City, young team. Very young young team. team, very young team. Young team, Kevin Durant. I like the point guard. Russell yeah. Westbrook. Yeah, Russell I, Westbrook. Love I love him. I love him. He gave the Lakers heck in, yeah. in the first round. Uh, in that first, in that round. first, first yeah. round, yeah. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you got to do something about this. I don't know how you're You know what I'm saying? They adjusted to it. and mm -hmm. But I like Oklahoma City. They... I don't think they're going to be an eight seed next year. No, they're not. I think more more closer to a two or a three. Yeah, I, I really. Yeah, do I know. think they have surpassed all of you know. Especially Phoenix, with Phoenix, Dallas, you know. Especially with Carlos Boozer and Stoudemire, Utah, especially you know moving that moving east. San Antonio, San Antonio's right. I mean, getting old. San Antonio's getting really old. old. I mean, they drafted a um, guard, James Anderson from Oklahoma State. Mm -hmm. I mean, but. They're gonna need a lot more. Yeah, so a lot more. Yeah, so coming up next, Jesse Jackson will get into that and then we'll talk about the NFL more in a moment.